bouncing down the hill and big bulls have the best swagger in the world watch how he just comes bouncing down head bobbing there we go look that is a massive elephant now remember where the little ones were so for those of you that are clever put a little baby elephant in there and now put that big bull in there and you'll be able to work out just how massive that individual is he absolutely dwarfs us he is massive 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 okay boy and he's in full must you can see there he's actually dribbling a little bit and here come the rest of the bulls they're all coming straight towards us hello girl what are you doing there's one right next to me here. You can see she's almost confronting the bulls. Here comes another bull down the hill. Hello, guys. Now look at the size difference. Look at him. Okay. Now it's now that we have to be a little bit more quiet. The bull elephants are not the same as the females they tend to be a little bit more especially if there's lots of them around and a female in estrus it's not something that we want to push so it's just to stay nice and quiet and let them do their thing but this male in front is monstrous that is one of those epic kruger bull elephants you big guy look at that and i've got goosebumps when i see an elephant of that size Okay. All right, big boy. Josh, you say you also get goosebumps by seeing elephants like this. And, well, Josh, we are being fortunate to see one of the big old gentle giants out here. He is huge. Look at his tail. You see his tail was a little bit erect at one point there. So that's where he's focusing and he's paying attention. But here comes a female being pursued by a male. I wonder if she's not the one that's causing the issue here. Here comes the males up on top, and you can see the females. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a little breakout of noise like we had just now. I don't want to move because I don't want to create any noise, particularly with the males being as close as they are. I really don't want to upset them and think that I'm getting to their females in any way. That's the thing when you're in amongst a herd like this. It's always good just to stay nice and quiet and let whatever happens play out around you. Eventually the animals will kind of get used to your presence and they're okay with it. But, ah, big Bull is just sauntering off a little bit. Seb, do you see how tall he is? Mm. It is incredible. He's tall. Oh, hello little one. What happened? I'm just gonna go forward now because I don't have any of the Ellie's around me too much anymore. I just want to show you the magnificence of this particular Ellie. Yeah, he does stink a little bit. He's got a bit of a must scent to him. But you can see a normal elephant on the right-hand side. Well, not a normal one. That's still a youngish one. But look at the size difference. That little young one, who's probably, I would say, close to 10 years old, would fit easily under the stomach of this big bull elephant. There it goes. You can see it just walking next to it there at the back. Look at that. And here comes a much older bull that's probably already close to 20. And he's also being dwarfed by this magnificent individual wow 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 now Seb if you can just go onto his right hip there you see at the back he's got an old wound that looks like it's healed there we go so that looks like a little bit of an abscess that might have formed at some point and it's healed up so there's a bit of swelling there and you can see the skin is fairly new it's a bit shiny and that would have been an old injury that he might have carried for a while and it's all healed up now though so he should be okay it's not really too much although it looks as though there's still a little bit of pus inside there hopefully that's not going to make him too grumpy interestingly enough i can hear more elephants still coming from where these bulls have come from it seems as though they are on their way this way So let's try to get back quickly before they cross so we can see them. Now I'm just going to try to get back here quickly to try and see if we can't see them. They are on their way to twin dams by the looks of it. 
Yeah, look, look at them. They're coming down into the riverbed, Seb. This is going to be spectacular. Just position 